Developing this noon, police have identified the teenager killed when two gunmen opened fire at a SEPTA bus stop in Ogons. Four other people were wounded. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Josh Sanders joins us live with the latest on the investigation and tells us about the local leader who got very emotional when asked about this latest shooting. Good afternoon, Josh. Good afternoon, Jim. Philadelphia police have identified 17-year-old Damon Taylor as that teenager killed in Monday's shooting in Philadelphia's Ogons neighborhood. Police say Taylor was a student at Imitep Institute. Institute Charter High School and that he was targeted. The shooting happened Monday afternoon around 345 minutes after students got out of school for the day. Three teenagers, including Taylor and two other bystanders, were shot, including a woman in her 70s. Police say a group of 17 kids were about to board a SEPTA bus in the area of Godfrey and Ogons Avenues when two people walked up and began firing multiple rounds into the crowd. Of the four people injured, officials say two 15 year olds suffered from graze wounds. The two bystanders, a woman in her 70s was shot once in the forehead and a 49 year old suffered a graze wound to their right forearm. Officials say the target of the shooting was Damon Taylor. He was taken to Albert Einstein Medical Center where he died from his injuries. And today, Philadelphia DA Larry Krasner was moved to tears as he discussed the shooting. A juvenile who has now lost his life. We have a 70 year old woman. Excuse me. We have a 70 year old woman with a grocery cart on a bus who is struck in the head with a bullet. This is an absolute outrage. It will be solved. Those responsible will be vigorously prosecuted. Police say the victims range from age 15 to 71 year old, years old. According to the Philadelphia School District, all of the teens are Imitip students, and at this time, no arrests have been made as police are still working to determine a motive. We're told SEPTA bus video cameras recorded the entire incident and will help in their investigation. Jim, back to you. Thank you, Josh.